Hey, what's going on? Uh, we got Santana Jackson here. Uh, Sin City's own Michael Jackson impersonator, man. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Man, how's it going, man? So, uh, just just people that don't know, uh, you are uh, Michael Jackson impersonator slash professional wrestler, correct? Yeah. I work at the Stratosphere, the MJ Live show at the Stratosphere, and then I also perform as Santana Jackson and Michael Jackson tributes in uh, wrestling rings around the world. Awesome, man. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Michael Jackson gimmick, that, that was your first endeavor before wrestling, correct? How did that, how did that become to be? Uh, I went for training uh, to be a wrestler, and um, I was ready be my, I was ready a Michael Jackson tribute artist. They got the word that I was performing as Michael, and they wanted me to try it out in the ring. So, I tried it out, created the room on DDT, and next thing you know, it's history. You know, I was working hard every day to get even better and to be more entertaining. You know? Yeah, man. There, there's a lot of lucha libre influence in your style. Uh, was there anyone particular that you uh, that you studied to to kind of get to your move set a little bit? I mean, I, I love Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero. So these are like some of my favorites. Um, some of the roadblock stuff I do, I took a little bit from Undertaker with Gene Lucha, but I, 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 he was kind of one of my favorites. So I would snatch a couple things from him and use it in my matches. For it's, sure. It's kind of like the old school roadblock. Yeah. Old school beat him <laughs> uh, in August 2018, uh, there was a clip of you performing your signature moonwalk DDT. Uh, it went viral across ESPN, Bleacher Report, various other social media sites. Uh, how's life been since then, since going viral? It's been fun. It's been really cool to, know, to be known by other wrestlers, and you know they show me the same same respect I'm showing them. You know they're really nice, uh, big name wrestlers know who I am. It's just kind of fun. I, mean, I make people smile, I make them happy, and a lot of people tell me I'm one of their favorite wrestlers. So that's kind of a step towards uh, being, you know, my dream, you know, being a wrestler. Yeah. All right, tell us a little bit about uh, your time working with the uh, MJ Live. Uh, it's been three years we've been the show. I think of so much of the interacting with the crowds, uh, being, uh, being more of an entertainer and learning how to interact. And of course, my dance steps are on point. You know, a lot of, it's a lot of work. I learned a lot of different things. You know, you learn the crowd motion, the crowd movements, uh, what they like, what they don't like, you know, what to give them. You know, it's, I, I learned a lot from the show itself. I pick up things from here, I pick up things from wrestling shows that I, didn't, I, I don't normally use, but I use on my show now, kind of vice versa. Yeah, bouncing back to FSW a little bit, uh, we noticed some notable names in the coaching staff, such as D'Lo Brown, uh, Disco Inferno. Uh, you guys have had some uh, guest training appearances from Matt Hardy, Adam Cole, etc. Uh, has there been anyone particular that's come in and given you some concrete advice you've been able to apply to your craft? Yeah, um, Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, since I was already doing the DDT, I was already training with him. Uh -huh. And I was already trying to get the permission, basically, to make sure I was okay with yeah. to do it. <laughs> my finisher and to add the little moonwalk into it. But he showed me how to hit it better and how to actually knock it in so it looks it's harder. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's have some fun, man. Uh, push one, bury one, release one. Bret Hart, Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels. So push one, bury one, and release one? Yeah. Push. So Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and Ric Flair? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I would have to push Bret. Oh man, we cutting Sean. <laughs> it's Sean. All right, man. <laughs> All right, got a, I got another one for you, man. This time it's the music. In the background anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got another one for you. This is a music video edition. Uh, push one, bury one, release one. Smooth criminal, thriller, and remember the time. Criminal. Oh man. Yeah. So we bury and remember the time. Bury and remember the time. <laughs> okay. Because I do not want to remember the time things are like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh, where can people find you out on social media? Uh, you can find me on Santana Jackson on Facebook, Instagram, Santana.Jackson on Instagram, Santana Jackson on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and um, play PS4. You can look up SJMJ Live. Catch me playing with me in video games. Hey, what type of games are you playing? 
I play Call of Duty wrestling, of course. You know, I, I play a little bit of everything. Even Fortnite, my son. I play with my son on Fortnite. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're on Fortnite. <laughs> Dope, man. Santana Jackson. Thanks, bro. Thank you, guys. <laughs>